Hola and welcome back to my channel, Kay the Crafty Planner. Today I'm going to share with you the flip through of my 2019 undated passion planner. This planner I bought back in the month of April and I started using it as a way to do creative planning. The uh, one of the things of the passion planner undated is that all your calendars are in the front So the way that I use those calendars was to use stickers that I have bought in the past and I hadn't used in a while So I use those odd stickers that sometimes you get in a sticker pad and you don't like like circles or different things so every month I put on the bottom the highlights I recorded things that I was either listening or um, books that I was reading or anything that I was watching on TV. For the month of October, which is this one, I was so busy that month that I left it blank. So what I did, I went to time and date website and I got all the temperatures for that month and that's how I was able to um, just make sure that I had that month cover because I was so busy and it was empty. The Passion Planner has the calendar and then has two pages in between that you're able to reflect. I did not use those pages, so what I did is that I glued them together. After the calendar, you have the weekly, and this is my first spread, my weekly first spread. Here, I was trying so hard to mimic what I was seeing on Instagram, and I think I put everything out there I took out my die cuts and I took out every washi and Sam that I could find and it just didn't look right after that um, I decided I think I'm gonna go with my own and this is what you're seeing now this is more my style I started um, taking away what I thought this should look like because I saw it on Instagram or I looked at it on Pinterest I just wanted for my true style to come out one of the things that I have in each weekly spread are three things, and that is a prayer list, a gratitude list, and a to-do list. And this helps me format the layout of my week. I also try to get pictures from Pinterest that are of public domain, and I just take pictures that are not your typical colors. I know out there there's a bunch of different sticker books but the majority of them they use colors like the pinks and a lot of the purples and there are women out there that don't necessarily relate to the colors pink or purple that like colors like the reds and the yellows and the blues and the greens and that's me so that's why in my spreads i always try to come out out of that traditional color scheme that is attached to uh, the buzz lady or the planner babe or however hashtag you want to uh, label you want to put i just want to uh, put things out there that i like in colors that represent more me so i use different type of media i use um, pictures that i found on, on pinterest and print them on sticker paper i use scrapbook paper um, that i glued there and I also use a lot of the Happy Planner stickers, but I always try to look for the non-traditional colors because I gravitate more towards that. My creative planning has a lot of reflection every, every week. I have a different question that I ask myself. And sometimes the questions come just because of something that happened that week or um, and a lot of the reflection also starts because there's a picture. For example, there's um, a picture of a phone or, or something and I want to say, you know, if I had the last phone call with that loved one that passed away, what would I say? So then I started just writing. So I just look for things that motivates me to um, put stuff on paper. I love this new style of my creative planning. I started in April, but I'm stopping right here in December just because I want to start my new 2020 passion planner from the get-go from January. So here it is my flip through. I hope you like it. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up and follow me as I craft, plan, and do other life-giving things. And remember, it is never too late to create something new. So start today. Hasta luego.